Hey everyone, it's Lex Lianos with Compass in Northern Virginia. In this video, I'm going to be answering the question, what if the market doesn't crash? Right now, the real estate market is pretty discouraging for buyers. There's bidding wars, rising prices, and fears that home ownership is becoming almost impossible for millions of Americans. But not all bubbles burst. Real estate especially tends to rise in value more easily than it falls. Currently, our country has only 25% of the average number of homes available for sale, a little over 1 million when the norm is about 4 million. Prices are being driven upward by a combination of factors, including continued low mortgage rates, a pandemic-era construction slowdown, a desire for more space as people work increasingly from home, and a stock market-driven increase in money available for down payments. Plus, Moody's Analytics says that there's over $5.4 trillion in savings accumulated since the pandemic began worldwide. That's a lot of cash sitting around waiting to go into real estate. But what's missing is this. Unlike the mid-2000s, lending standards are actually still really tight, even though interest rates are low, which makes it hard to buy a house you can't afford. And there's certainly not as much condo flipping going on now as there was during that time period. Uh, there is some good news if you decide to sit on the sidelines for a little bit. Rents are not rising as fast, nearly as fast as uh, home prices. Uh, they have been roughly flat during the pandemic and have only recently started to rise a little bit, maybe as much as 4%. In order to win bidding wars, many home buyers are forced to make rushed and risky decisions. Successful bids often need to waive any financing contingency or right to inspect the property. The worst case outcome, according to NAR chief economist Lawrence Yoon, would be if rates remain low, demand picks up with new jobs, there's no increase in supply, and the only thing that moves is home prices upwards until people get priced out of the market. That would mean we're creating a society of haves and have-nots as far as home ownership is concerned. The best case outcome, on the other hand, would be a construction boom accelerated by President Biden's infrastructure plan, which would create more supply and help stop the rise in prices. So the bottom line is that housing prices are going to remain high and rising for the foreseeable future. I know the market for buying a home is more complicated and stressful than ever right now, but I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. I've been doing this 30 years, and this is my third time through one of these hyper-competitive environments, so I have a lot of experience navigating this type of market. I'm happy to give you my input and help. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'd really appreciate it, and give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.